Welcome to the Reckoning Podcast, where we stoke a campfire, gather around, and have real-life conversations with old friends, new friends, professionals, and just shoot the shit. Reckoning all things from hunting, outdoors, beauty, entrepreneurship, relationships, life, and more. It's all just a reckoning. Just thinking about this recipe. This week, I am going to be sharing with you, or this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe. These episodes are usually fairly quick. They're kind of like little mini episodes, about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how long I chat with you. These are proving to be something that you guys like and enjoy, and it's nice because I list out the recipe on our website, which is on the reckoningpodcast.com. I'm going to be referring to actually my phone because I want to make sure I give you the ingredients correctly, but you can put me in your ear when the time comes. You can listen to it now, kind of see if it's something that interests you and you want to make. And then you can always go back, refer to the recipe, put me back in your ears. Hi, how are you again? And work through the recipe with me as you're cooking. So it makes it kind of nice. It's like your own little cooking show that you can refer back to with a printout of the recipe. And for this one, we're going to be making easy, creamy, and cheesy Dutch oven potatoes. Again, I'm looking at my phone because I want to get it correctly. And this recipe does have bacon in it. I mean, do I need to say more? Like, why would it not have bacon in it? So this one is great for cookouts, side dishes, camping, all the things that is made in the Dutch oven. And I'm going to walk you through this recipe. If you are watching on YouTube, these are available on YouTube. Now I will be looking down at my phone or having it up by me. So that's why you'll see it again. I just want to make sure that I'm giving you all the correct information and ingredients and following the directions because I have it in my head. And the last time we made this, I sat and wrote everything down as we went so that I would remember. It's one of those recipes. I'm someone, and I think I've said this before, like when I cook or I give a recipe, and this is why it's hard for me to put down recipes is because I'm like a pinch of this, a dash of that, like a glug of this, and then like a smell, a taste, add more. Um, So this one, I was very thorough about going through and writing down what it is that we did. So you can watch it on YouTube. And again, I will put the link to this recipe for you to go to. And yes, there's a jump to the recipe button. And there's also pictures for step-by-step instructions so that you can follow them if you need you know, someone to get out a crayon and draw for you. Just kidding. That will be in the description and the show notes below. Let's get into it. These are the best easy and creamy Dutch oven potatoes with bacon. It's a family favorite and definitely kid approved. You can make this while camping or at home. Like I said, we've made this for a lot of cookouts and barbecues at the house. And it's a perfect side dish to have ready to serve up in about an hour. And this recipe, there is no Coke or Sprite required. From what I've seen online, there are numerous different recipes that require some type of soda and that's just not what happening here. This recipe is something that we love to serve up, like I said, at cookouts or barbecues. It's perfect for the summer and I break down how to prep everything for this and this is actually something that this recipe was kind of adapted from a recipe from my in-laws that they served up at our wedding. Yes, we had Dutch oven at our wedding. It was at a barn. It was a full thing. And this is just a recipe that we've loved and we've kind of adapted it based on our like, our flavoring. And that's what I really love about this recipe is it's something that you could add anything into it when it comes to like your vegetables and your spices. You can really you know, zhuzh it up in every way that you want. We've added like scallions before or carrots the sky's the limit with this. So this is a really good base recipe and just the base recipe itself is something that will wow a crowd and people will keep coming back for more. And that is something that we love about it is that it is a crowd pleaser and it feeds a crowd and you can easily prep everything ahead of time. I've done this before for Cody when he's going like on deer camp with his guys before and 
guys, guys, you know, there's always like one man camp a year. And this is something that we just prep ahead, put it all in a Ziploc baggie. And then you just add in the few ingredients and it is good to go. And it's definitely comfort food at its finest. Like this has camping up in the cool woods all over it or deer camp coming back and being able to have this. What ingredients do you need to make the cheesy and creamy Dutch oven potatoes with bacon? Again, I'm referring to the website so that I can make sure that we have this correctly and I just kick the table. First, you're going to need six to eight large potatoes about the size of your hand is kind of the base that I go on. I, there, there's my hand. Six to eight large potatoes. You'll want one large onion. Uh, we usually just use a yellow onion, but again, you could add whatever kind of onion or scallion that you would like or a green onion. And then two tablespoons of garlic, a teaspoon of pepper or to taste, and eight slices of thick cut bacon. You'll also need two cups of Colby Jack or sharp cheddar cheese. Honestly, we've used probably all kinds of different cheeses. You just want it to be able to melt. We've even used the dairy-free uh, Daya, Daya cheddar cheese, and that worked really well and melted deliciously. You'll also need, the last thing, two 16-ounce cans of cream of chicken soup or homemade cream of chicken soup. I prefer the homemade cream of chicken soup if we're not camping. Um, obviously, the canned is just easier, but you would be surprised how easy the homemade cream of chicken soup is to make um, ahead of time. And honestly, it only takes a few ingredients. Now, how do you actually make the cheesy Dutch oven potatoes with bacon? Again, you'll see that we have step-by-step -step instructions and pictures so that if this just isn't making sense in the way that I'm explaining isn't making sense, you can go there and look and make sure that you're following correctly. But first, you're going to need charcoals, hot charcoals. So if you're going to be at camp and you're just using the coals, feel free to use those. Or if you're going to be using charcoals itself, you'll need to start charcoal in a chimney. And while the charcoal is getting hot, you're going to start prepping your ingredients. What ingredients are you going to want to prep? You're going to cook your bacon in a skillet or the oven, however you prefer to cook your bacon. One of my tips for creating this recipe is if I know we're going to be making it and we have bacon enough of it, I will make bacon for breakfast and I will put aside those eight slices for this recipe itself. So that way it's already done. Again, one more thing that I can prep, especially if we're camping and hunting, I like to be able to have as much prepped as possible because usually that means that I'm out until later in the evening and I want to make sure that I have everything prepped. However, this is one of those recipes that I would definitely have someone back at camp making um, just if you need the coals going, you know what I mean? It just makes sense. And, or also just like a chill camp vibe. <coughs> just, I don't know. I like to eat when I get back <laughs> when I'm hunting. Another um, thing with cooking the bacon, Cody did this and I was like, you, sir, are a genius. And maybe it make, I'm sure it'll make sense to you, but you're going to want your bacon cut up anyways. So he cut all the bacon prior to putting it in the skillet like as he was he would just snip it into the skillet so that it was all cooked up it cooked a lot faster and then it was already done one less thing to not have to do I will say when you are making your bacon you will want to make sure that you get the bacon crispy this way it doesn't get soggy in the mixture and obviously make sure you dab off the grease on your bacon if I need to tell you but I just always say get your bacon crispy for this recipe because you're going to be adding it into that creamy mixture. And so naturally it's going to soften the bacon a little bit. While the bacon cooks, you can peel and dice a large onion. You'll wash and dice the potatoes into uniform chunks. You're going to obviously want to make sure that everything's uniform so that it cooks thoroughly and at the same time. And then in a large bowl or Dutch oven liner, I like the Dutch oven liners. I know there's a debate on this, but... This is one of those recipes I like using the liner for because I will take the liner and I will add all of my stuff into that liner and then take the liner and put it in the Dutch oven versus having to mix everything in a bowl, dirty that bowl, dump something in a liner and or you know what? Just mix it in your Dutch oven. <laughs> put all your stuff in a Dutch oven. Don't do an extra bowl. We like to save on dishes around here, whether we're at home or camping. Okay. You're going to combine your sliced onion, your potatoes, and you're going to add your cream of chicken soup. 
And then you're going to sprinkle in the garlic salt and black pepper to taste. I mean, you can taste this later, but sprinkle in your salt and pepper and then toss to coat your vegetables. You add the bacon into there as well, if I forgot to say that. And then once your charcoals or your coals are ready, you will make you will add your mixture into the Dutch oven if you have not already. I hope you just learned from me figuring all that out that just put it in your damn Dutch oven. And you will put the Dutch oven onto your coals. Uh, the potatoes will need to cook for about 40 to 50 minutes. Obviously, the thickness of your potatoes and the temperature of outside and your coals can vary this time, but you can check the potatoes and see how they're cooking when you can easily po poke them with a fork, then you're going to know that you're on the right track. You can always add more coals to the top or bottom as the coals burn down if you haven't cooked with coals before. And here's my tip with this recipe when it comes to adding coals onto there, I would always say add them to, this is what we've found over the years of doing it, add the coals to the top of the Dutch oven versus underneath because with the creaminess of everything, I've found that it can like burn the bottom or just create, like you just need it to get hot thoroughly. So I found adding more coals to the top is better for this recipe versus the bottom because the bottom can get too hot and burn. Where's that midday <laughs> slump? Like me, I know I am. And I have something that is my secret and it works so well. It's not coffee and it's not an energy drink. It helps on and off the mountain and I'm gonna show you. No more gatekeeping. What is my secret? It is Mountain Ops Ignite and I'm going to show you how I make it. All I need is one scoop or trail pack of the Ignite added to water and it delivers a smooth, long lasting, a great tasting energy and focus without the jitters or rash. It's a clean, healthy energy alternative to help you conquer the day. I love this, like I said, immediately before or during a hike, a hunt, a strenuous activity, a long day in the office when I really just need that little boost to get me through and that focus to concentrate. It helps me keep up with my boys on the mountain. There's nothing more than I want to be able to go with them and enjoy it and Ignite helps me for that little boost of energy, function, and mental sharpness. You are thinking, yes, I need all this and I definitely don't need another cup of coffee and I'm done with the energy drinks and you wanna try Mountain Ops Ignite. The best way to go, and I'll tell you this from experience, is starting with the Ignite sampler. It comes with five convenient trail packs. So that way you can try the flavors, see what works for you and see what it is you want to add into your everyday routine for that energy and, and focus. when it's been about 40 or 50 minutes you can check the potatoes open in the lid carefully so that you're not getting any ash into the potatoes and then you will test them with a fork or a knife and when you can poke them and it goes in easily your potatoes are done i will then add the additional cheese on top of the potatoes and then close the lid and remove it from the heat and just use a couple of minutes to melt and then I'll open it back up and I'll give it one more good stir to combine everything and then you are ready to serve. Super easy and it really is like minimal dishes to do this recipe and if you are on YouTube you can see the picture. I'll put it there and yeah, this recipe is found on our website. I'll put that in the description and the show notes below. Like I said, we really love this easy side dish to serve for a crowd during the summer while we're camping. And it's a family favorite. It is so good. It's one of those recipes people will ask you for and request. This is really fantastic, especially if you're going to be doing like a potluck with anyone, especially, like I said, camping with a potluck. A lot of times we'll do like family dinners where we'll decide like we're going to serve this and everybody make their own thing. This is a really easy one to do. And I really like this recipe for camping specifically too. And 
honestly just home because they're easy ingredients that you usually have on hand or are pantry staples that stay fairly well. And that is obviously really crucial when it comes to camping. If you make this recipe, I would love to see your rendition of it. Like I said, you can add any kind of seasoning and spices. A lot of times we'll just kind of see what's in the cupboard and add to that. Um, you know, you can spice it up a little bit if you don't have kids eating it or if you're a more spicy family, spicy. And it um, really is a great side dish that goes with anything. So if you make this recipe, be sure to tag me at Brittany.long or at the reckoning podcast. And I would love to see what it is that you made, what you served it with, where you were at when you made it. I always love seeing where people are cooking, especially if you're camping, like the location, it's always incredible to view. It's like, how am I able to cook this and have this view? It's bananas if you have a request that you've seen us make as far as recipes goes on youtube or on instagram and you want us to share a breakdown of that recipe i would love for you to tell us and i'm happy to write that recipe out (laughs) pay attention to what i'm adding to it as i go and put that recipe on the website and then walk you through that recipe here